Please help me welcome to the stage our next headliner for this evening. You're going to absolutely love him. You've heard him on Sirius Satellite Radio and on Bob and Tom from Louisville, Kentucky. Give it up for Mark Klein. show tonight. My name is Mark Klein and uh, my father was my hero in life. He was a World War II veteran, won a Poker Harbor on the island of the Saipan in the South Pacific. They, they teach your children in school that World War II ended in 1945 on the deck of the USS Missouri, a battleship in Tokyo Bay when the Imperial Japanese government of Emperor Hirohito surrendered to American generals MacArthur and Wainwright. That's not exactly true. World War II ended in 1996 when my father bought a Toyota. <laughs> that is when. He and my mom were married for 48 years, and when she passed away, of course, my dad uh, went into mourning. He spent a year of mourning, didn't want to go out, didn't want to do anything. Then he made a choice. He made a conscious choice, a touching choice, a human and heroic choice. He chose to live again. He chose to be alive again. Her book of life is closed. His book of life was open. He started going out again. And I can tell you something. Women loved my dad. Women absolutely loved my dad. Every week there'd be five or six ladies. They're all 85 years old. They call him. Let's go get supper. Let's go see a show. Let's go see a movie. I say, Pop, what's the appeal? What's making these women so crazy for you? He said, I drive at night. <laughs> somewhere with my father. I took him to a Waffle House restaurant for breakfast one morning. Now my father, when he was 90, he would flirt with any woman in the world. This man had no fear. He had no filter. He would flirt with any woman in the world. The waitress would bring him coffee. She goes, sir, how do you like your coffee? My dad said, I like my coffee like I like my women. She said, I'm sorry, sir, we don't serve 85-year-old coffee. <laughs> When he was 90, he wanted a new wardrobe. 90 years old, he wanted a new wardrobe. I said, okay, I took him to Kohl's department store. Do they have Kohl's where you live? My father loves Kohl's because they, they would send him coupons. <laughs> so I took him to Kohl's. Picture my father in Kohl's department store, 90 years old, World War II veterans cap on, a full four-wheel walker, big old thick glasses, doubling hearing aids. He holds up a cardigan. He says, son, tell me the truth. Does this sweater make me look old? <laughs> <laughs> My father had no fear, he had no filter, he was an amazing human being. He would wear anything at any time. His fashion sense, he blew that out long ago. My life's goal for many years was to find a Hawaiian shirt so ugly my father refuses to wear it. <laughs> and I almost had one. I came so close in the Caribbean a couple years ago, I found a Hawaiian shirt and it was purple, pink, and yellow. It had palm trees and pineapples on the front. On the back was a life-size Hawaiian woman from the waist up and all she had on was a smile on her face. He wore it to a wedding. <laughs> What he brought to my life was advice in every phase of my life. And that was one of the great blessings of my father's life, is to give advice to his children. He came to me on my wedding day with advice. He said, son, don't ever cheat on your wife. You don't want to risk your life's happiness for eight minutes of pleasure. I said, you're up to eight minutes. <laughs> Your wife think you're funny. I said, oh yes. I say, honey, do you want to fool around? She laughs. 